This is CPM Pre-Calculus, Chapter 2, Number 56. So we're asked to write the following expression using summation notation. Summation notation, remember, it means using sigma with a start, a stop, and some expression to add, right? Sigma means add. All right. So let's look at this expression. Whenever you're given expressions, you kind of just need to look for a pattern. So look for patterns. Do you see any? Well, I see these are all ratios. They're all fractions, right? 1 and one over 4, 4 over 9, 9 over 16. Hmm, I see that this number is the same, right? Dot, dot, dot means continued on. What would be the next number if we added one more? It would be, yeah, so if you... You need to be able to plug in what would be the next number. So the next number, I think, would be 16 over what? So you need to know this for sure, right? So let's go ahead and look closely. Well, 2 times 2 is 4. 3 times 3 is 9. 4 times 4 is 16. Okay, I think this is going to be 5 times 5 is 25, right? Plus 9 times 9 is 81. 10 times 10 is 100, 11 times 11 is 121. So now I'm seeing two patterns. One is the denominator becomes the numerator of the next term, right? And also we're starting with just all of the perfect squares. So let me rewrite this as this is 1 squared over 2 squared plus 2 squared over 3 squared plus 3 squared over 4 squared plus... 4 squared over 5 squared plus 5 squared over 6 squared plus dot 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 means everything in between plus and then what's the one right before this one? It's going to be 8 squared over 9 squared and this one is 9 squared over 10 squared and finally 10 squared over 11 squared and we're done, right? Because this is the last one. Okay, so how do we write this using summation, summation notation, right? Well, we're going to basically be adding every term here, okay? So this means we don't need to write the addition sign, right? Because this is the addition sign, all right? So what we're doing is we're adding these ratios. So what ratios are we adding? Well, perfect squares. So we're starting off with... Sum, we're starting off with 1 squared and 2 squared on the bottom, right? So it's something squared on the top, something squared on the bottom, okay? So, and every time we're going to add 1, so I already see that, well, if we add 1, 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 to 5 all the way to 10, right? So if I say, let's just say I'm going to use the variable n, so if I start at 1, I'm going to stop at 10, right? Because I'm going from 1 to 2 all the way to 10. And what this is just going to be is going to be n squared, right? Because I'm going to do n squared when n is 1, n squared when n is 2, n squared when n is 3, all the way through n squared when n is 10. In the bottom, though, we want to do the next one, right? It's not going to be n, but it's going to be the one after n, which is n plus 1. Right, so when n is 1, it's going to be 2 squared. When n is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3 squared. When n is 3, 3 plus 1 is 4 squared. Right, so this is it. Right, this is it. This is the expression using summation notation. Okay, um, and there are usually more than one possible answer, so we can check our answer by just plugging it in. Right, n is 1. That's where we start. So we're going to plug in n is 1. n is 1, right? Plus when n is 2, plug it in. 2 plus 1. Plus when n is 3. Plus dot, dot, dot. Let's do when n is 9. So we get 9 squared over 9 plus 1 squared. Plus n is 10. And we're done. Right, so it is that, if we simplify it, that's 1 over 1 plus 1 squared is 4. 
2 squared is 4 over 2 plus 1, 3 squared is 9. 3 squared is 9 over 4 squared is 16 plus dot 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 9 squared is 81 over 10 squared is 100 plus 100 over 100. 10 plus 1 squared is 121. So yes, these are the same, right? That's exactly what we wanted it to look like. We verified it, verified, and we're, so we checked our answer and we're done, okay? So this ends CPM pre-calculus chapter 2, number 56.